it's the final time these guys are going to be face to face to talk to each other. Yesterday we had a public workout. AJ did his workout, just shot off straight away. And Garner was in the studio with us, talking where cool as a cucumber, talk like a champion, walk like a champion, acted like a champion. Can he be a champion? Can he? Swap roles with AJ, we don't know. It's the last time these guys will talk to each other. Well, it's been busted by Usyk a couple of times already. We all saw that fight. It wasn't even really... It was one of them things where he just doesn't have the guy's number. Leave him to me. The little South poor man, I'll slay him. No problem. <laughs> Twice if he wants it. Leave him to the GK. And then we can get the Battle of Britain on, providing he gets past this big fella. Which is not a formality, because no, no. he's a big man, he can punch, and he's a strong big bastard, so... It's uh, it's this why it's an interesting fight, isn't it? Knockout Chaos is definitely a great name. Let's welcome the Predator, Francis Ngannou! Let's welcome AJ Anthony Joshua! I think I haven't uh, shocked the world yet. <laughs> um, but first of all, I want to thank everybody here uh, for coming up, for coming here, for making this happen. Every single one here, all the promoters here. I also want to thank um, uh, His Excellency, my brother, Tuki Alasher. I want to thank uh, AJ for also being part of this. You know, as I said, he always takes two to tango. So thank you for being here and for making this happen. Um, but uh, to answer your question, um, I really think I haven't shocked the world, you know. I'm still uh, in the factory, building, you know, training, learning, and I think um, when I really going to get it, I think that's where the world going to be shocked. I'm just working, building, and learn uh, about the sport, you know, the sport that I love my entire life, but didn't have the opportunity to really do it and gain some experience. And uh, it's just now that I'm really like having that, uh, uh, working on that experience. And uh, I think I can, I'm going to put something really, really nice. I can put something. I trust the process. I trust my team, the work that we are putting in, you know, so it's going to pay off. I will struggle to do 10 rounds. I struggle to do 10 rounds. And if anybody doesn't struggle to do 10 rounds, then you are something else. You are not human. You know, I'm human. Everybody gets tired after 10 rounds, you know. So that's right. I'm struggling. And, and I have no problem with it because I'm, it's a learning process. I'm sure to learn. And uh, I struggle for the first, uh, first fight. Um, who was against Tyson Fury, and in fact, I was in that fight questioning myself, like, what would happen if I, when I get in the fourth round? How would I feel? Because I never been in the professional fight, a boxing match for four rounds, for six rounds, eight rounds, then that was ten rounds. So yes, I did struggle, but I think he struggled as well. Maybe more. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's sat in the front row here at the press site, smiling away, he's grinning, not giving anything away. And maybe that is a fight that we'll see in the future again, who knows? Now, if you get the victory on Friday, will that be your greatest ever achievement in combat sports? I know you've done so much in the MMA world, but would this top it all off? Well, um, yeah, he will, be the, he will be the best so far, but as I said, I'm just getting started. So um, I'm really looking for the victory of Friday night, but I don't think that will be uh, making any statement of my career because the road is still long and, I still, and I'm really intending to gain a lot of major victory like this. One over Tyson, one more over Tyson. Mm -hmm. Because I, have the f I, had, I had the first one over him. I'm intending to have the second one. <laughs> and he's been bitching about it, which is true. I just I just hope I'm not in the middle of these two. If they start going at it, let me tell you. 
You're gonna sleep in the octagon again, and I'm gonna wipe the, the, the ring with your, with, with your ass again. <laughs> you wipe the ring with your ass. There was the blood in the ring. It's taken in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's really heating up in here now. It's really heating up in here now. France is going to give you a chance to respond. I'm going to ask you the next question. I have already tell you, I tell you, your only chance is in the ring, in the boxing ring with the boxing rules. When you step off or that ring, you better stay five meters away before I stuck your shit. Because if I lose it, you're going to have a really bad time, my friend. So. They respect the fact that boxing is protecting you, us, and the rules of boxing is protecting us. Because out of that, without that, you are nothing in front of me. I will beat. I beat you every day, twice on Sunday. God is good. Life is good. No complaining. Had a f about ten days off. Get straight back to basics. Get back on the grind. God is good. We're happy. Now you're coming off the back of a an incredible performance uh, in December. What can we expect to see come Friday night? Come on, give we'll us a little revealed. bit of insight into, into what's going through that Monday. We'll be revealed, innit? Just straight up war, relentlessness, good fight. And uh, that's, what, that's what everyone's here for, a good fight. So yeah, stay tuned if you're here. I appreciate everyone coming out. Much appreciated, His Excellency as well, for putting the show on. And if you're at home, you know the score. Make sure you get a live on pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> Always got to get the pitch in, no doubt. Oh, yeah, I'm getting paid for this, bro. He's got pay-per-view points, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> there's obviously an, in, an incredible yeah. incentive for, this, for the winner of this fight. It's We're not looking past this fight. This is my main focus. Um, yeah, so the incentives and all that stuff, there's just to win. That's it. Just focus on my, on my game plan and what I've got to do. You know what, that makes sense. I, I, was, hoping, I was hoping you'd give me, you'd give me a little juicy gossip. We need, we need a clip. We need something. <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see. He said he's got he's got AirPods. he's got AJ's earpods. Everyone's asking what what is playing what is in AJ's left earpod. What's on the playlist? Uh, let me see. Let me see what I got for you people. Yeah. Come on. This is this is the question we all wanted answered. Uh, 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 listen, what we got, right? You want to hear something? I don't know. I'll listen. You ready? <laughs> and he's actually connected now. <laughs> He's got some lyrics. You got some old school garage going on there. That's sweet. You know, is that what's going on in camp? Is that is that the mood? Is that the vibe? Is that the energy? Just music, music, music. I don't know why there's a big conspiracy of what I listen to on my airport. I don't know what but the big deal is. Francis thought he sold it. Have you seen the Instagram video that Francis put up about what's going on, what's playing in your your earpod? No, what's he got playing on? What's, what you, you better ask him. I don't know. I was just listening. I found your airport and I was just listening <laughs> and it was playing a lot of nah, different nah, all stuff. All good, all good, all good. It's my of duty. Of course it means. Yeah, it's our duty to do what we got to do. It's our duty to, we work for these people out here. Do you know what I mean? These are the fights that they want to see. We're here to entertain them. So I feel the pressure. But that's the life. That's what I signed up to do. This is what I've devoted my life to do. So bring every challenge, every competition and um, I'll step up to the plate. You know, I've been in the ring with Zhang. We've shared a ring before. I've shared the ring with Park Hung. I'm going to share the ring with... Uh, Francis, one day I shared the ring with Tyson. The last fight I shared the ring with Wallin. Um, I signed to fight Baby Miller. I sparred Dubois. I'd been in with, I signed to fight Bronze Bomber. I'm serious about the game, innit? This is just what we do. It's my duty to work for these guys and give them entertaining nights. You can keep the airport. <laughs> <laughs> keep the airport. Thank you, truly. I keep the playlist. Francis, final words for Anthony Joshua, the man that you're going to go face to face with. Friday night. Well, good luck on Friday night. Respect. And see you there. Let's go. There we go, guys. Do you know what? I wasn't surprised, but I'll tell you why, because we, we commentated on his fight in, uh, on the, when he fought Hergovic, and he yeah. really impressed me, Zhang, on that night. You know, not, like I say, with the, doesn't load his shots yeah. up, he just throws them out, you know, short, sharp, yeah. fast hands. Okay, so we've got the main event here. Joshua up against Francis. And Garnu, I was curious about that earpod actually. I must admit, he usually has one in whenever he's talking to anybody, Anthony Joshua. Johnny, what do you think 
either of these two will take from this, this face-off, because they've not done this together very much. Are you looking deep into the eyes, looking for any kind of flicker? You're getting nothing from these. Both fighters are very confident, comfortable, and uh, within who they are. Look at the size difference there. AJ may have about an inch size on him, but the rest of it, the chunk, the thickness of the trunk and the thickness of Angano is massive. But all he can do is do what he can do, uh, and do his best. AJ says, you know, talent will rise. And and you know, if, we, if we're not looking at that that that, that bit of luck, talent should be enough. And when you're talking that, you're looking at Anthony Joshua, his talent, his boxing ability, his boxing experience should be enough. That, that simple, doesn't matter what's been said before, during or after this, his talent should be enough. Hey, listen, you can't beat it. the rocky music in the background, butterflies <laughs> in the stomach there watching it. <laughs>